Hi, it's Terry, Terry with the Cover Chipboard, and I'm here to show you how to use our SVG files in Cricut Design Space. So you can see I have Cricut Design Space open. I'm going to click on New Project. Get it to open here. And I'm going to click this grid off so you can see better. Um, the first thing I'm going to do now, I've already would have purchased the SVG file and it's downloaded to my hard drive. So I'm going to click on Upload and then Upload Image and Browse. Locate the file on my hard drive. Click it and choose Open. That's going to bring it into Design Space. Now I can change the name if I want and I can add a tag so that I can search for it and find it easily if I want. Then I'm going to choose Save and um, click on it and choose, well this part's not in camera for some reason, but I'm going to choose um, Insert Images on the bottom right. Now when these come in, they're going to open it all up as one big huge file all grouped together. So you'll want to kind of move it up to the top left hand corner and then right click and choose Ungroup. That will separate everything out so that it's separate files. Now if you'll look in your right hand pane, the layers palette, you'll see all of these sections that say cut and they have like a very faint line. When Cricut pulls the SVG files into Design Space, it shows the score lines as solid lines and these come in as cut lines. So we need to change those to score lines. So if you'll go over here and click on the first one that says cut, hold your shift key down on your keyboard and click the rest of these that say cut. And you can select all of these at one time just continuing to hold your shift key down. And just work your way through. There. Now once you have them all selected, release your shift key and come over to the top left and you'll see line type and it says cut and there's a little arrow. Click on the arrow and in this drop down menu choose score. Now that will change all of these. You'll see where we selected them before and they said cut. They now say score. You'll also see that these solid lines have turned into dash lines. So that's step one. Step two is that you have to connect all of these uh, score lines with the object itself. If you don't, this is what happens and when you go to make it you'll have a mat showing just these score lines onto it. So we need to connect those so that it doesn't happen. And what you do is you select the entire object, come down to the bottom right, again it's off camera I apologize, but look for attach. Click attach and now you'll see that this is one solid piece. So you need to work your way through the file, selecting the object, clicking attach at the bottom right, until you have all of the pieces selected and attached. Whoops, sorry about that. And attach, and attach. I'm not going to work my way through the whole file, you get the idea. So you need to make sure that you have attached all of those. And once you've done that, you're ready to cut the project and construct it. And that's all there is to it. Doesn't matter what project you're working with of ours, they all work the same. So you'll need to do that with every project you get to prepare it for cutting. And that's it. Thanks for joining us and I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.